What's up, dudes and dudes of the internet? My name's Seth, and we are back here for the trove. Yeah, how y'all doing today, folks? I hope you're doing fantastically wonderful. Hope your health is better than me. No, seriously, though, besides all of the jokes, I have not been feeling well at all. It's terrible, but I got recorded and I want to anyway. So, yeah, without further ado, folks, I'm the Trove YouTube guy, extreme, extreme. For today, we are just going to be hanging out, having a good time, and talking about some, some bad news. <laughs> but before that we get started, I would very much appreciate uh, not only to hit the like button to support me, but we are going to be giving away a throne of dark spirits and a bone throne in order to qualify. You're going to have to hit the like button, be subscribed to the channel, leave a comment in the comment section down below with your username and Scarlet Spider will respond to the winner and there you go. So I guess we'll just go into U6 so that these people can follow me. This patch has been absolutely broken like seriously there's so many errors with it people can't switch the styles of their ma uh, allies um there was an issue where we couldn't end up uh, even forging up our gems. Uh, there's also issues with the inventory. You also, even if you bring up the club menu here, you can't press escape and get rid of it. Uh, also, I don't know if it's on purpose, but when somebody friends you or invites you, you can actually press escape and it will get rid of the invite or delete the friendship. Uh, not delete it per se. I guess it's more that it uh, puts it into the pending friend request. So I I guess it's a little bit convenient. I don't know if that was on purpose, though. Either way, this patch has been absolutely full of bugs. Looks like nobody's able to follow me anyways. And it's just nuts, man. So anyways, we got some bad news to talk about today, folks. Although a lot of you that are newer to the channel and newer to the series might not actually, like, understand the relevance of this. But Lord Sithis, who's been around... Like, let me give you a little bit of a backstory here, folks. Lord Sithis... Pretty much has been playing Trove as long as I have been. That's uh, very, very close to two years, right? And he ended up, like, he was good friends with a lot of people that ended up uh, actually starting Google Translate and everything like that. He's got his own club, Vile Scallywags. And needless to say, he's been around for a very, very long time. And he was one of the types of people uh, that ended up supporting this game. Like, he liked, you know, the idea of what it was, what it represented, and so he he spent lots of money on it, you know, specifically because he wanted to, like, help help the game out and everything like that. Power to the cause, you know. Um, but with the recent updates, you know, there was the Mantle of Power update, which uh, there was already updates before that. But that one was the biggest one that made this game very, very pay to win. Uh, and then not to mention this whole talk that's going on uh, lately that we've been talking about. If you didn't catch my patch notes video this week, I talked about it as well, where we kind of all know and are all under the impression that they're going to be holding off on the Dino Tamer and the new biome, going to slap on and sell it as an expansion and probably probably charge money for uh, early access to it, even maybe even charge us uh, for early access to the new class. That's the other thing that everyone's suspecting. Now, that might not seem like that big of a deal to most people, but to somebody like him where, you know, that was the whole reason he was mostly playing this game was uh, about like how the devs were treating their players and stuff like that. Like lots of old players ended up quitting when Man of Power came out. Now this whole idea and the fact that, you know, the devs kind of seem to be jumping ship on the PC version uh, and not worrying that much about like all the pay to win content just so that they can end up uh, having this game rush out on consoles so that they can make even more money, 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 money. Needless to say, folks, he ended up quitting from that. That was kind of like the final straw. And it's very, very sad to see him go. Uh... But yeah, like I said, for a lot of you that uh, are new to the series and stuff, you might not understand the impact of that. But he, he's been around for a million zillion years. He was actually the first officer in Team Pixel uh, way back in the day. And we, we've been good friends, you know, ever since uh, he started playing. And fun fact, too, I just found out the other day, like, I always thought that he played Trove a little bit earlier than me. But he was saying how... Um, 
that wasn't true that he ended up just randomly stumbling upon this game playing it a little bit and then he found my videos and he started coming around because he was also one of the first people that came around that actually was very like supportive and helped me out a lot because uh, you know even though I'm not against paying money towards this game, I don't make stupid purchases, I'll say. So I'm not gonna sit there and waste like $100 on like gem booster boxes and junk like that, right? Uh, and mounts and everything like that. Either way, not to mention that he was always very, very good at trading. So he always had a lot of flux. And because of that, he ended up giving me, like he was one of the first players that ended up giving me lots of prizes that I could end up giving away to people. You know, and he was very helpful in the community. Very, very awesome guy. Uh, I'm still going to be talking with him, of course. Like, he still hangs out in our mic chat and uh, is just playing other games at the time. But he's pretty much quit Trove. You might see him here and there logging in uh, just to get his daily out of the way and just kind of periodically check what's going on. But I guess the whole point that I'm even bringing this up is Sithis is the type of guy where he's very tolerative of, uh, of all this stuff. And if he's quitting, that tells you something. You know, like I'm just trying to make a point about that and uh, just wanted to pay respects and say a fond farewell in today's video, folks. Now, Oh, does that end up affecting me? You know, no, I'm still gonna be playing this game because of all of you And I still love this game get involved with it as much as I can uh, And another thing too that I wanted to mention because a lot of you again So many of you don't realize I'm always hiding when I'm appearing offline I'm always like I'm appearing offline, but I've been on trove everybody So don't be fooled don't think that send poop is quitting or anything like that. No, sir. No, ma'am now uh, I am however you know, uh, playing this game in hide mode a lot and uh, in on the side too, I'm kind of in do not disturb when I do appear online. Oh, speaking of which, there's Sithis now in the club chat. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. We're gonna call it here. That was pretty much it. He he is pretty much uh, like quitting, but like I said, you may see him from time to time. Either way, I very much appreciate the support that you've all been giving me, and throw some support to Sith Poop if you see him in game as well. And yes, that's what I call him. Sign or and stay epic, everybody. Oh